Oh yeah, I love that jazz. I can't play none of it. Welcome to another edition of Handicap Born Black in America. I'm your host, Ramon Roan, and this message is brought to you by Judicial Freedom Riders. You can find us on the web at www.jfrinc.org. And the title of this message is Bill Maher, Schools in True History by the actor Wendell Pierce. Now, Wendell Pierce um, is an actor. Um, most of you, when I first saw him, I saw him probably a couple times. I know he's been acting for many years. I saw him, uh, the first time I saw him at a noticeable role was in the role of, um, uh, I think his name was Wendell. And I think it was Wendell in the movie Waiting to Exhale. He's a great actor. Matter of fact, he has a re reoccurring role on the on the hit series Suits. I love that show. I'm not sure if it comes on uh, what night comes. I think it's a Tuesday night or Wednesday night. Can't remember. But I love him on that on that show. But he always played very um, smart um, and intelligent um, characters. But nonetheless, he's a great actor, and um, and he should get his due. Um, and he has a, He's from New Orleans, and this is the after Katrina. What Wendell did, he he's from New Orleans, and he saw that there were no grocery stores. I remember this art. I remember this story. That it was on news broadcast. There were no grocery stores in in parts of downtown New Orleans. That's where he's from. And what he did, he took his own money to invest and open up a grocery store, so that the people of New Orleans would have a grocery store to go to in that part of town. Now that's a true brother, and that's a brother that's giving back. You see, that's a brother that's giving back, and we need more like uh, actor Wendell Pierce. We need more brothers like him that are able and willing to come back to their neighborhoods and give back, and not trying to show off or anything like that. Um, you know, but you know, we don't have enough of the, we don't not have enough of Wendell Pierce. But none, nonetheless. In this segment of a Bill Maher show, they were make I guess they were questioning about the amount of violence in the uh, African American community, the black community. You know, with the uh, with the mass kill, with the killings, of the murder rate in the black community, which is it is high. Um, it is high. Matter of fact, I think ninety forty nine percent of all murders in the United States are African Americans. And then um, then you have to deal with the um, the Ray Rice um, the Ray Rice thing and some I think Hardy and and um, and Carol like Carolina football player um, about the violence towards women and then you have um, Adrian Peterson and his and his uh, spanking of his child and that brought out a whole new subject of African Americans believe more so believe in spanking their child than than other ethnicities uh, so all of those come into play but you know but the the point that Wendell was saying that you're calling us violent. You're calling black people violent. Well, Wendell gave him the, gave him, um, um, saying, look, look what you did in Tuskegee from 1936 to 1972. You was experimenting and giving black men syphilis. And seeing the reaction, you was experimenting on, and they didn't even know for all that many years. So it wasn't like it was two or three hundred years ago. We're talking about recently, seventy-two. That's less than fifty years ago. And so Wendell said, "Look, look, look at what you did to the Native Americans, the Indians. You get you put smallpox on the blankets and gave them blankets, and so they and so that killed off." Those Indians. So you want to you want to um, say that black people are violent. Well, you need to sweep in your own front door. As one, one as a young boy told me, you know, sweep in front of your own front door. Free, sweep in front your own front door. You know, look at the violence that perpetrated by white people. Yeah, sure enough. The violence upon, look, from 1880 to 1968, there are 4,742 African Americans lynched in this country without due process. And we still don't get due process. You call us violent? Oh, let's talk about, 
Um, let's talk about the Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma with the riots. All, let's talk about all the race riots that's been in this country inflicted upon black people. And you call us violent? I say no, I say no again. No, like what Martin Luther, like Malcolm X said, the chickens have come on the roost. No, you are the violent one. So let's don't, let's don't start pointing fingers here. We don't need to point fingers. There are violence in the black community as well as the violence in the white community. And, um, and this country has a history of violence and toward, towards the black man. But I thank God for a person like Wendell, G uh, Wendell um, uh, Pierce that, that speaks the truth. And that's what we need. We need to hear the truth in our schools. They need to have the truth, the true history. We're not, we, I came up in this, in a, I came up during time. They didn't give me the true history of America because the America that, that they gave me was the opportunity, the home, was it? The opportunity was open to all people. Uh uh. That's not the truth. That's definitely not a black man's reality. Look, they killed Martin Luther King. <laughs> yeah, I believe they killed him. They killed Martin Luther King because he knew the truth. He knew exactly the truth and the truth that was perpetrated upon black people, minority people. Now, Bill Maher was speechless. What could you say? When, when you lump some, sometimes when you're faced with the truth, there's nothing to do but to remain silent and deal with it. This has been another edition of Handicap Born Black in America. I hope to see you again. Please subscribe to this channel, John Singletary and Ramon Rome at Judicial Freedom Riders. Visit our website at www.jfrinc.org as we focus on creating fairness in our corrupt, and I repeat again, our corrupt justice system. Until the next time, may God bless you and may God bless America.